Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uxilla here. That was completely out of order, again. Alright, um, so today I'll be teaching you how to import and export Minecraft worlds to another file, your desktop, or to import it from, like, an email, or also your desktop, or file, to Minecraft, or from Minecraft. Alright, so, just so you know, this is the import button, so this is how you import worlds. Oh, that's the wrong world. Actually, no. And down here, this is the export button. Uh, click this, export worlds to a file, whatever. So, let's create a world. Let's call it test world. Uh, let's keep it creative. Let's make it flat. And create. Let's just build a little house. Um, get a little chest. Furnace, crappy table, and of course a bed. I don't know if there's gonna be f space for a bed, but we'll see. Alright, so, one, two, three, just blocks. Put the bed right here. Crappy table. Just like that. Alright. Let's put the bed all the way back. Alright. Now we have our. Nice little house. We can just build a roof. It's like one of those really bad starter houses. Survival. Alright, now that we have a nice place, we put the bed and the chest in there. Just other stuff in the grit in there. Smelt up the bed with the chest. It's beautiful. Alright, so now we can save and quit uh we go into world settings so this is how to export it so export world now go to select desktop this is for windows 10 not xbox not playstation windows 10 or windows 11. export the world now once it says this sometimes it does a little green line thingy of course for minecraft bedrock but you know now, since it's exported, it's on the desktop, you can delete the world. Now, if you want, you can check if it's on the desktop. It should be. And then you click import, test world, click import again, or you can double click the file, import world. Don't do another file. If it's not a Minecraft world, it will probably be bad. Be bad. I've never done that. I don't want to mess up Minecraft. So now it's back here. You can go in the world. Now we can check the house is still here. There's a chest, and everything's in the furnace. World data is still there. Oh, maybe even the spawn point. Alright, we'll set the spawn. Should have done that earlier. Now, delete the world. Delete world. Import. Actually, no. Ah, never mind. That's fine. But look, look right over here. Import. And it's back here. So, yeah. Uh, you can keep deleting it. It won't delete until you delete the one on the desktop, then it'll be in the recycle bin. And if you delete it from the recycle bin, then you're kind of, yeah. No, no more world. Yeah, you can just break the house if you want. I don't really care about it anymore. You can also do this if you really want to destroy it. Full of steel. Of course, you can just completely annihilate the little house that we made. There we go. Alright, so there you have it. That is how you import and export a world. It is very easy. I do have a lot of friends that, well, most of my friends don't really know. I don't think they know. So, there you go. How did you guys survive? Didn't survive anymore. <laughs> Alright, so. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed the massive explosion at the end. Um, yeah. See y'all soon. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.